On Saturday the 11th of June, the Women's Tour Cycling Race will be here in West Oxfordshire. I'm in Corn Street in Whitney and I'm heading to the Windrush Bike Project. The Windrush Bike Project was um, founded in 2017. We started at Cogs in a field with a tent, myself and a lady called Kath Cochran and Will, who is here today, one of our directors. And we then progressed from that to this lovely space we've got here. So when Kath and I first met, we were cycle training children in schools and we felt that Whitney was a very cyclable place and we could expand that into creating something that would help people get on their bikes, also give people an opportunity to fix their bikes themselves and work with those who just needed a space to um, get better if they had a mental health illness or a learning need, anything like that, that they could come in and we would be able to offer them something. So we wanted to be not just a bike project, we wanted to be a therapeutic workshop as well. And as you know, on Saturday, the 11th of June, the Women's Tour Cycle Race is going to be here in West Oxfordshire. It is, yeah. So um, how are you guys contributing to... So we are taking a team of us up to the, um, where the start is or where it comes through. And we are going to be taking some of one of our new projects up there, which is the Wheels for All Adapted Bikes for helping ch children who would never get on a bike, perhaps, and young adults as well. So we're taking some of our adapted bikes up, and then we're going to be in the parade. We're also running um, some awareness up there and we're running some rides and some games as well. Um, so tell me how the Windrush Bike Project can help with affordability of cycling. So we are really lucky and we are the recipients of lots of donated bikes. Those bikes come into us in the workshop. We have a band of volunteers and paid um, people here as well. And we refurbish the bikes and we get them out of here at a reasonable cost. We also run a bike library. So if somebody is on benefits or on a low income, and their child needs a bike or they need a bike they can apply to us to get a bike and they can come and we say it's a bike library they might keep the bike forever but they can get a bike from us as well so everybody can get onto a bike and um what about um do you train any sort of safety um thing like safety courses here? yeah so we run maintenance courses so people can learn how to fix their bikes themselves on a thursday evening between four and seven we run what's called diy workshops so if people have got a few skills they can come and fix their own bike and um, with the help of a mechanic and that costs them much less than this repairing it for them we also do bikeability in schools which is how kath and i started the whole windrush bike project so we run um Every primary school in uh, Whitney now, we go and do a course in, which is funded by the government and comes through the county council as well. And we um, go in and teach children on a two-day course that how to ride on the roads. We also teach, can teach families how to ride safely together. On a Friday, we have something called Resty Riders that people can come along to, which is free, and they can ride. If they've not ridden for a while, they can ride with a couple of us and they can learn again how to get confident on the road. Uh, Windrush Bike Project is a project, I, from my point of view, I think it's something that we uh, started to try and promote cycling in West Oxfordshire. So um, I've always loved cycling since I've been a child. I've always fixed people's bikes um, since I've been a child. And that's how I sort of got into it really, through knowing Kath, who lived in the same village as me, um, who was doing the bikeability at the time and wanted to do something a bit more than that. And I was... So very interested in that. I think cycling is important for me from my own point of view when I was younger. It gave me the freedom to go places that I couldn't otherwise. My parents didn't have a car and um, we didn't have a lot of money so I couldn't really even afford bus fares sometimes but I did have a bicycle so I could get about all around Oxford where I lived and um, it really gave me a sense of freedom and I think that is something that was important to me. Um, I think it's important to cycle for the planet um, because we can't keep going the way we're going with the number of cars on the road and things like that. I think it's also important for health, so um, I think it's a great health benefit to cycling places. Mm -hmm.